did we talk about the installation in our last session, the lab related to the installation, how do we do the installation, etc. and etc. Uh, Shriram, Fazal, can you all able to hear me? Yes, I can able to hear you. Cool. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Vasu, are we missing anyone? So guys, welcome back to our session. Uh, who are there on speaker? I request them to go on mute. Okay. Uh, others will continue with our session. Uh, uh, just give me, uh, just confirm me. Did we start anything related to the installation and the lab related to the installation? Yes. We were been said that. Um which platform are you going to perform installation and uh, what we have, do we have Linux machine or do we have uh, a software. So we all need to send you email regarding what we needed. Okay. I remember I responded back to a couple of emails. Fazal, I just got your email in the morning. Yesterday I was uh, having, I had some problem and I was out of station. Okay. So I just came in the morning. Uh, so I didn't have a chance to check your email, but I know that there was an email from you just a few minutes back. I just checked that. So I'll take that one, that questions little later offline. Okay, probably once I reach my office, you can give me a call at around 10 o'clock. Okay, 10, 10:30. 10 uh, yeah, 10:30 would be the best time because we'll be done with our session by 9:30. So once I uh, go back to my office, okay, we can comfortably cool it, talk about that. So excluding that, anyone any questions? I have one Can question, right? Yeah, sorry, Shyam, you got some question? Yeah, the thing is, uh, I have the VMware virtual machine, but somehow it was not working today. It says, you went to 64-bit power of something it is saying, I don't know, maybe I need to uninstall and install the VM player again, or, I mean, before I installed the Java version, and all, it, it worked perfectly fine, but I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, any any chance for you to con uh, say to me what is the error you're getting? Yeah, I think I mean I just repaired it and restart my system. I'm opening it. I mean, I just give me a second. It may work out. It says like GNU Ubuntu 2.2 versions. It is asking. I mean, which were it is? I have a couple of options here like Ubuntu advanced options for Ubuntu memory test, memory test, and. I couldn't do anything after here. The status are private for me also. Uh, like it is saying, highlighted entry will be executed after in. I mean. Mm. Uh, just give me a second. It's showing some. Uh, it says busy box. Uh, you went to. Built-in shell ash help enter for built-in commands. I just enter help, uh, but it's not giving any options to me. Like alias cd break something. It's written in long. I even don't know what to do. Uh, never heard of that kind of an exception before. Okay, I don't know. Maybe uh, I mean I didn't even turn off my Ubuntu. Correct or something it may. Uh, is it possible that you can uninstall it and press to reinstall once again? Yeah, I will do it, but not by. I mean, if you are doing any lab session, I couldn't do it today as it is not working. I just not checked it. No problem. Not no problem. But the main concern here is that if not today, probably once you have that system necessary software system available up and running, at that time also you can do. But the agenda is that. What were the labs you are trying to cover? Ensure sure, that, sure. that yeah. along with the other things you complete. Okay. Uh, and for this, uh, can you send me the software or can I just download from the Google? I'll put a mail to you. What are the things are necessary? Is it enough or? Yeah, yeah you just drop me an email. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what are okay. things that are necessary that okay. you think you need? It, okay. Just drop me an email. I'll send you that. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, so coming back to our session, okay, as I understand from you all people that on a 
last session we just talked about the theory related to the inflation nothing related to the lab i told that i'll be sharing the software to you and for a couple of them who has dropped me an email i share the software that's what i pretty well remember uh, except few for whom from whom i got the email very late or who hasn't sent that email so without wasting much of the time let's quickly begin our session so if you see here okay to do the installation on a gui based operating system it's very simple you double click on that installer okay a gui screen will come for you which will welcome you to the installation in the sense i'll show you One second, guys. It doesn't take much of the time, just few minutes, two to three minutes here and then it will be downloaded and completed. Shiva sir, Fazil here. Yeah, Fazil. Um, we have all uh, couple of versions. Uh, so all these versions will be available in jar files and zip file as you said, right? Okay. Now, like my question was, uh, for down for installing in Linux, it will have only jar files. No, 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 no. This is the. It depends upon from where you are trying to download and what is the operating system you are trying to choose. Okay? Generally, if you have a, a developer edition of the uh, JBoss application server software from the Red Hat portal, generally you will get it in the form of a jar file, be it be Windows or the Linux favorite operating system. Traditionally, if you are trying to download it from the uh, open source community, then you will be having it in the form of a zip format. Okay. Am I clear? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Shriram, for you, I think daylight savings have started, no? Shriram, for you, the daylight savings have started? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, today, just now, it started. I mean, yeah. today. So, I think you have to check the timing yeah. source. Please, please yeah, yeah that's what made me yeah that's what made me what's the time right Shriram, what's the time right now uh it's 9 18 pm sir 9 pm est or cst or est uh, i mean est sir so 9 p.m. Oh, sorry, I'm in CST. Yeah, CST. No, that's a surprise. Only 10 minutes. 
I <laughs> felt it should be different. One hour, uh, one half, yeah, half an hour. So yeah, I think it should be nine fifteen over there. Yes, sir. Exactly. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, yes, answer after install. Yeah. Uh, I have one question. Like after installing, uh, everything will be same. Like working in Unix or in Windows, or it will be different both. Even though after installing the work. After installing install install or before installation, everything is same. But okay. the only difference is how you are trying to work. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the sense that uh, uh, in a Unix, okay, if you uh, let's say okay. in a Windows, I want to open a particular file, I'll double click it. That's it. Okay. Okay. But in Unix, it's not like that. Okay. If you see here, simple example I'll give you. This is a jar file. You're seeing it here, now. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And let me open it with. I'll, I'll say double click and open okay. with. Let's say I have a JDK. Okay. Uh, one second. I don't know if I have the Java available as a runtime where